Hi, I'm Jackson Bird, and today is National Coming Out Day. Did you come out today? If so, congratulations. I bet it was tough, right? Nerve wracking, maybe made you feel sick. Maybe it didn't go exactly how you imagined it, either for better or for worse. No matter how it went though, I bet you're relieved. It's finally out there and done with. A big weight lifted off of your shoulders. Well, get ready to do it all over again. And again, and again, and again, for the rest of your damn life. Now it's true, the first time is the hardest, or specifically maybe telling your parents might be the hardest, or maybe your grandma, like whoever you were most scared to tell because you really care about their approval, that's probably the hardest coming out experience. Ah, see there? Already more than one coming out. You are going to have to come out so many times to so many people in so many different situations. Now you can kind of cheat the multiple coming out things these days with social media. Just make a big Facebook post and it's like ripping the bandaid off all at once. Everyone you've ever known, parents, current friends, aunts, uncles, former teachers, that kid who caught you picking your nose in first grade, everyone, finds out all at once. Now, I don't completely recommend this method. I think there are some people in your life who should maybe hear it from you first, depending on your relationship with them. And especially if you're coming out as trans, schools and places of employment might need to be told in a more official setting than a Facebook post. But even if you did that one big coming out to everyone, you're still not done. You're gonna be meeting new people throughout your entire life. And while in most cases it shouldn't be an issue, it will still come up. If you're gay or bi or pan, it might come up when a coworker asks if you're dating anyone or when you wanna bring a partner to an event or when people are talking about celebrity crushes and expect yours to be exclusively of the opposite gender like everyone else's. It might even come up at the doctor's office when they ask you about methods of birth control or don't ask you about needing to be on prep. And if you're trans or non-binary, it'll come up even more often. It might happen when conversation turns to childhood experiences and you have to decide whether to switch Boy Scouts with Girl Scouts and vice versa, or if you happen to run into an old classmate while you're out with new friends and they use your old pronouns, or when an employer does a background check or when the TSA finds something unexpected on your scan, or when you have to tell even the dentist that you're trans because you had to list what prescriptions you're on, which includes hormones. And those were mostly examples of someone who's living stealth as a mostly binary gender. If you're non-binary or not considered consistently read as a binary gender, you are going to be explaining yourself to people so much all the time that coming out is basically a constant state of being. But none of these are as big as the first coming out when you told all of your friends and loved ones. These little ones are easier. And after a while, you'll kind of get used to it. You know, you'll figure out your own ways of explaining things, what feels most comfortable and affirming to you, which sometimes could be a clever comeback and sometimes could be simply powerfully refusing to explain yourself. But what really makes these small everyday coming outs different than the first big one is that you'll probably have a support system by now. If it's not a loving immediate family, it's a found family or a support group or an online network of queer friends you can vent to after the latest incident of a stranger making an ignorant comment. It might still sting, but it won't last as long or cut as deep as it used to. Despite political setbacks and the frankly terrifying beliefs of a portion of the United States and other nations, we are making strides and people writ large are getting a lot better at remembering that not everyone is straight and cisgender. I think right now though, we're mostly at the point where like, People won't have any ill will towards you when you correct them, but you will still have to correct them. And there might be that terrifying second after you tell them and before they respond where you fear they might be one of those people who sh believe you shouldn't have rights or exist. And it's those moments and the knowledge of the unceasing coming out that I want you to be aware of. Now, while National Coming Out Day is a day of celebration and pride now, it was started in the 80s as a form of activism. Coming out to your family was considered one of the most powerful things a person could do for the queer liberation movement. It was kind of a way to destroy arguments from some people that they'd never met a gay person and hoping that when people knew that their sibling or child was gay, they might think twice about their beliefs and eventually maybe start supporting gay rights. Coming out remains a powerful radical, and at times dangerous thing, both when you first come out and every single time you do it for the rest of your life. But every time you do it, you make it that much easier for the next person. Yes, our world is increasingly moving backwards, but overall, the LGBTQ plus community is in a much better place than it was in the 80s. And that is thanks to all of our elders who came out again and again when it was even scarier than it is now. So when you get backed into a moment where you have to decide if you should out yourself or bend the truth a little to stay stealth, think first of your own safety in the moment and in the long term. But if you choose to come out, 
do so knowing that you have made a difference in the movement and for all of the LGBTQ plus people to come. And I just wanna leave you with one more thing, which is that you should never feel pressured to come out, not on this day, not on any day. Do so at your own time when you are ready, when you feel safe or when you at least have a safe backup plan. Coming out can be super scary, but ultimately it is a cause for celebration. It's an individual win for you and it is a big win for the LGBTQ plus community. You didn't just help move history forward, you added another awesome person to our community. So thank you and happy National Coming Out Day. Hey there, if you wanna hear more stories of trans liberation, make sure you are subscribed to my podcast, Transmission, which is officially returning on October 18th, Spirit Day. It's available on Apple Podcasts and everywhere else that you listen to podcasts where you can go to transmissionpod.com. Also make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more videos every Wednesday. And that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.